All right, man, we made it, man. So this is the final result, man. I'm over here at Resurrection Detail. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Welcome back. Chuck's Deli Hustle, man. You know what to do, man. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment below, hit that notification bell, and follow me on all the social media platforms. I got the links in the description below, man. So, hey, we got the uh, the cord, man, for bro, man. So, Tego, he up in his joint, man. Joking clean. <laughs> yeah, man. So, it actually ended up being a lot, like, nicer than what we thought it was to be honest with you like i was like well, you sure you want to buy i know y'all watched if y'all watched the video you know i was kept on questioning like you sure you want this but this drinker is luxury man it's got the sunroof got the leather interior and it's like immaculate and the tires the tires was brand new too wasn't it yeah, yeah. and we looked at the service records and uh honda is the one that's been servicing this car so he got a uh, i think he got a one owner um clean title and everything so man it's i think it's a good buy man and it most definitely fits him so yeah. So anyways, man, talking about business, man, we, I just, um, uh, bought two cars for Mannheim Northstar and, uh, I bought a 2004 or something Volkswagen Passat for, uh, 670 out the door. And then I bought a, uh, uh, Hyundai Sonata. If you watch my auction walk around from Mannheim, uh, you saw that I found a Sonata out there last week, but I had missed the, uh, it running through the lane so i got it today for 5 30 or something out the door so um yeah man so we're going to go grab that so i know that's not i need some work but i bought the passat i don't know what's wrong with it i don't know if it's great or what but i know i got 111,000 miles on it i ran at the end of the auction it's clean as hell so from what i can see on the picture so hopefully we do good with that um and then the buick rendezvous is officially complete today so we're gonna pick that up from the auction i'm gonna real i'm gonna really go through detail with that car and kind of break down the process for y'all and um take a little time to show y'all that because if y'all been watching my channel that you know for a fact that that car has been hell um and you know i didn't went back and then and then came you know came back to earth on their ass with that one so um that's gonna turn out to be some good money there uh, final numbers on that man i think we add 1750 or something like that um as far as like what we're in there so we got some room to make some money um and then also i'm gonna get y'all to uh i'm gonna show y'all this car too cleaned up when we get uh over here to manheim so i'm gonna see y'all in a second all right y'all we done made it to manheim north star so let's see what happens man ah man i'm a little bit nervous but i'm not nah i ain't nervous man this is a, a good buy i already know but uh look how empty it is y'all so it's crazy how, like, if y'all look outside, this is where the older cars are, outside of the canopy. And they move very slow to pick up their cars, but the newer stuff is gone in a matter of seconds. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about big money, they come out there. Uh, they come out with to the auctions with the damn trailers ready to go, you know? But anyways, man, I can show you all these cars while we walking over here. Oh, that's a, that's a new Traverse, y'all. That look cool. Got the Escalade joint, the 15. Little Dodge Charger joint with the six cylinder. Maxima. Another Charger. HHR. Man, where's my car? 861. Oh, it's going up. They switched up the lens. It's just down here. It's supposed to be down here at least. Man, they keep on changing this up every week, man. All right, y'all, they sent me somewhere else, so. They moved it super, oh, there go the Sonata right there, I see it. Oh, and the Passat. All right, man, moment of truth. I'm going straight for the, go for the Sonata first, because I already know about that. I can get y'all to break down on that. Actually, I remember it needs a windshield. And I'm pretty sure it needed a jump. But this car is pretty good, man. It's gonna be a nice little flip. Oh, I don't care, it needs a jump, yo. The interior is what's got me on this one it's clean. All right, yep. So this one just needed a, uh, a windshield, I think. But well, look at the interior, man. You have one of these? What? Oh, yeah. No, you had a Elantra, bro. Yeah, so 
It's cool, man. So, got that joint. Here's the little Serpentine Bell joint. But let's go see what this Passat talking about. You know what I mean? This is what I'm ecstatic about. Joker better be clean. Like they said it was. The window's down. I don't like that. I think this is it, bro. Oh, uh, the tires is cool. You want to start it up? Oh, the interior is. Oh, bro, if they gave me a lick like that. Whoa, whoa, boy. Let them start it up. Okay. So, it, make sure that shit closed, bro. Windows closing. Sunroof work. Oh, baby. They got any lights on in that joint? Look, 119,000 miles, yo. They do? Oh, shit. Check engine on. Oh, yeah. Oh, ain't no gas in there to check engine light on, man. Nah, I ain't scared of it. All right. You want to grab the, uh, you want to pull out the Sonata, bro? I'm going to go throw this on the test track real fast and see what it do real quick. Let me get the, uh, the, the, uh, run out of gas. not on the test track. I'm going to have him give me some gas. Oh, here, this one. Yeah. They sold all these, so this is all sold this week. They moving quicker now, so I just bought this car today, and they already moving into the sold section. That's crazy to me. Yeah, this is cool, man. This is clean. If anything, bro, if this is if this is all the way messed up, then I can uh, go ahead and uh, run it through the auction, get my money back. You know what I'm saying? Plus some more, because this is a real, real clean car. Hopefully, everything's straight. So, y'all gonna be the first to see it with me, man. I should, let me make sure this, this hood is popped. I mean, it's closed, too. Because we don't want none of them problems. AC seem to be working all right. Cut that on max. Got the sunroof joint, man. And I don't even be liking buying these. Not no more. I had a big problem with the, uh, with the heater cord, bro. Man, man, man. The, uh, when you're doing the heater cord on these, you gotta take off the whole front clip to do it. It's like a, I don't, don't quote me, y'all, but I think it's like a 16 to 24 hour job. I left my cold reader in the car, so. We're gonna have to see. Enough of you seeing me. Per requested from whoever said, man, show the cars, man. I'm gonna show y'all the cars, man. And yeah, I do a lot of talking. That's why it's called a vlog, buddy. And if you don't like it, then unsubscribe. Let's see. Let's see what we got, man. Put this on the track. Got him a little maximum. Let's put my put my seatbelt on, y'all. This is a lick lick. Y'all, I already told y'all what I got the car for, man. So I already told you what I got it for, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know what I'm gonna sell it for when I sell it. But, uh, oh yeah, let's draw this one more time. I think we good. This, I bet you that's like an evap call, y'all. If it's an evap call, I'm posting this car today. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna look over it for leaks and all that stuff. Make sure all this electronics and stuff work. But so far, so good. Let me pull this joint out real quick. And then um, I can do a little walk around for uh, both of the cars. And then hopefully I don't forget. And then I can uh, show y'all Tego's car too, because that joint is clean. All right, man, this thing is clean. So one thing did just happen is uh, the light popped on, check coolant. So I'm gonna check the coolant. It's more than likely a sensor, just like it always is, because it's not overheating. So I'm letting it run right now, see what happens. Because we got to dry this joint. But man, overall, man, I'm real happy with this vibe, man. This is real clean, man. And once again, for this year, um, for 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 it being Minnesota, this is beyond clean. It don't even have no rust. I don't think you got no rust on this joint. This is crazy, man. Look at that interior, y'all. I'm gonna check that check engine light. See what that do. That's a the Sonata. Do a walk around on that. Show y'all that, man. So this is a. It's gonna be a hell of a flip, y'all. Um, both of these cars for. I got this for like 1070 out the door for both of these. So that was unexpected. I took a chance and it paid off. So sometimes you gotta take that chance if it's calculated, you know what I'm saying? So 
it is what it is. Usually y'all know I don't buy anything that I don't test drive, but this time I decided to take that chance and that's what happened. So um, I think we good, man. But anyways, let's get these on, these on the road. Let's get them where they gotta go. Let's keep on vlogging. I forgot about the cord too, man. So this joint is beyond clean, y'all. Let me get the whole, the whole thing of it. Oh, got somebody coming up behind me. Let him do his thing. But look, look how clean that joint is, man. Look at that. Yeah. So this, he hell of a buy with it, man. Super clean, man. So, yeah. All right, man, let's go. All right, man, I'm taking the Sonata first, y'all. Um, and I want to see how this thing drive. I, for, I forgot exactly what it needs, if it needed anything, but I want to see. Make sure that we straight. And then uh, hopefully it's just this damn cracking this windshield. Knock that out for like 210. And then uh, we all in the green. So I'm going to try to pop this one off for like 13 to 1500. You know what I'm saying? Especially how clean it is. Somebody's not going to care about the miles. They got the sunroof joint, keyless entry. You know what I'm saying? From I remember all the electronics work. So um, I think we should be straight, man. But I got this damn semi in front of me, so I can't get up to speed. But let's throw this joint on the highway. See what happened. All right, man. We almost up to speed. It's driving good. I think I heard a clunk in the back, man. So that might be a, a, a strut. But let's see. Got to make sure we straight. This thing called aesthetic, man. All right. Driving cool, man. I think we straight. I'll let y'all know by the time I get there if it needs a strut. Kind of feel like it's swaying a little bit, but let's see. Just made it to the lot, man. So I just forgot that my uh, Sonata is i mean not sonata santa fe is detailed y'all so if y'all remember what this joint looked like before got the full detail this one i got i had uh dude do over here at the office over there so my detailer so look at the interior y'all look how clean that came out man look how clean that came out so this joint's ready to go got that doo, -doo stain up out of there a little bit so well, actually, it's not ready to go. My bad. I got to change that tail light out. And then I got to uh, do the valve cover gasket. So I'm a, that's on the chopping block that's going up next. I just wanted to be proactive, start getting stuff done as I was going and everything. So, yeah, man, I'm happy about that, man. But, right, yeah, man, I see we made it, man. So this is the final result, man. I'm over here at Resurrection Detail, man. What, you can shout it out again, bro, your business. Resurrection Detail, 5126 Central Avenue Northeast, Ridley, Minnesota, 55421. Eric, 651-322-0748. All right, man. So I wouldn't recommend to nobody, somebody I wouldn't rock with, man. But look what he did to the Buick, man. This thing is clean. Look at the rims. Look, now it's 100% refurbished, y'all. So now it's ready to go. That's an old part. Don't worry about that, man. But look at the interior, man. If y'all looked at the video, y'all remember all the cigarette stuff going on, man. You remember all the... All the ashes and all that, man. Look, he got it together, man. He got me together, man. So I'm gonna show y'all the whole thing. Whole thing, man. The cracks and the crevices. You see that? You don't see how clean that is? That showroom floor, man. So he did his thing on this. And um, I'm gonna sell it and I'm gonna get some money off this joint. I could probably run it right during this market, man. I could probably run it through the auction and get some money off this joint because how clean it is and then now i know it's mechanically sound but i might have a buyer for it already so we don't know oh you did the engine too oh yeah i forgot he did the engine so he did a full detail man so i went ahead and just um you know had it done man so but look at that man look at all the detail y'all you know what i'm saying that's what you call good detail y'all look at the interior man got these parts i'm gonna return I'm gonna get my money back on those joints but uh look at the the engine compartment that's super clean you know what i'm saying it's all shined up it ain't too much of the shine going on it's back right where you need it to be so uh, polished up but yeah man you see it so she about to be gone man so i'm gonna see y'all in a second back at north star y'all man picking up the passat and i'm out of here y'all so um we got a lot of stuff done as you can see i just got a fresh cut man so i had to go get a you know meet the barber get that taken care of man so that put us be, uh behind because the barber was running a little late but it is what it is man so right now um uh, just dropped me off so i'm gonna take this home with me 
take the Passat home with me and I'll give y'all an update on the Passat tomorrow. Let y'all know how it rolled and everything. But I'm done for the day, man. I appreciate y'all like always for sticking with me. I appreciate all the dope ass subscribers. I appreciate all the dope ass energy I'm getting from everybody. Um, and then keep on, you know, watching the videos and watching me grow, watch the content get better. And, um, you know, and just keep on with, with me with the journey, man. But I appreciate y'all. I'm out. God bless. Peace.